This character is completely made up of images. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the original file for this character, which is actually a PSD file. So as you can see up here, I have my root as to where this original PSD file is located. Yours might look a little bit different, but I'm gonna go ahead and double click on the PSD file. And here it is in Photoshop. And let's real quick, just break down the files here in Photoshop of how they're all set up. So this is really good. If you have like story illustrations that you wanna to bring to life, you can use them here in Photoshop. And we're just gonna show you how to break down your character so that you can get it set up properly in Moho. So this was already done, as you can see here, this is an eye blink. Inside of these groups is the right eye and the left eye. We're not gonna go through all the groups, but we'll just go through what is there. So there you have your right eye, your left eye, teeth, shadow of the teeth. So this is gonna come in a little bit clearer once we get that head layer in there. So you can see there's the teeth shadow, there's the top of the head, there's the other tooth there for the top of the head, there's your bottom teeth, and then we have our left arm, the shadow for the left arm, the body, the leg, the other leg. But something about this leg here that I wanna show you, let's go ahead and take away the body, is we can fix things like that. So as you can see there, the leg is super long, looks terrible, but it's gonna be behind the body, but still that can create issues depending on how you rig your character. But I'm gonna show you how to avoid issues with that type of rig. Then we have our back of the neck there with the spikes, the tail, and the right arm. And those are all the layers that make up this character. So what I'm going to do, let's just pretend I just drew all of this in Photoshop. So if you draw in Photoshop and you have your character broken down into different layers, perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to go to File, Save As, and I'm just gonna give it a different name. I'm gonna save it to my desktop and I'm just gonna call it Croco. All right, now I'm gonna go into Moho and I'm going to create a new file and I'm gonna to go to File, Import, General Import. I'm gonna to go to the desktop where it's saved and right there, Croco, and I'm gonna open it. So you have the option to import the layers individually or composite them. You don't wanna composite them because all it's going to do is put all these layers into one single layer. So I'm gonna to go to, let's go ahead and let's select layers. I wanna show you what this does first. So this gives you the option to select whichever layers you want to include. So let's say you had some additional layers in here that you didn't want, you can select which ones of those you want to include. But if I hit check all and then I hit okay, watch what happens. You can see it blows up the character, it makes it super huge, everything's separated. However, if you wanted to take the time, you could piece back those parts together so that everything is in the right place. However, I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna to go to file, import, general import, Croco, and what I would do is I would just make sure I have the files that I need that I saved in that folder, and then I just import them individually. Now, as you can see there, that auto updates everything on the right side, importing all those files. It keeps those folders inside of folders, those group folders, which is really awesome. So all of this is inside a main group folder called my croco.psd folder. But what I'll do is I'll just name this Croco, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click this layer and I'm going to change it into a bone. So I'm going to go here to convert to bone. If you're using an older version of Anime Studio, you can simply just go up here to your new layer and then create a bone and then just drag and nest all those folders inside of there. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit M on the keyboard and I'm just going to situate this so that it's ready to go for rigging. And we're just going to put it in there in our little window, perfect. All right, so that's it for this lecture. That's how you import your characters from Photoshop into Moho. Next thing that we're going to do is we are going to add the bones and I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If this video helped you, be sure and like it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to write them in the comments and subscribe for more awesome videos just like this. I'll see you later.